everybody, I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome to another episode of VO Buzz Weekly. Yep. Today we have Portia Scott Hicks of Coast to Coast Talent Group with us and Chuck. If you guys have ever wanted, okay, to have top LA agent representation, then you have got to watch this show today mm -hmm. because we have something extremely special coming your way. Yes. All right, before we go there. What do you got? Viewer email. Oh, love emails. This is from Ahmed. Where's he from? Give me a second. Okay. He says, greetings from Riyadh. Riyadh. You read that right. That's far. I watch VO Buzz Weekly from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and I am blown away every single time I watch any of your videos. If I wasn't so busy, watching this amazing show would be on the top of my stuff to do 24-7. The guests you bring on are exceptionally good and inspiring. Hoping you guys continue rocking the show. P.S. All our time is for your buzz. That's awesome. Isn't that great? He's got his own slogan. Yes. Hey, you, you stole that from us. No, I'm just kidding. That's Make your great. Own. Saudi Arabia. Thank you, Ahmed. That is so cool. Tell us what's going on in VO. Yeah, in Saudi absolutely. Arabia. Send us an email. Let us know what's going on in uh, your neck of the woods. Absolutely. Cool, cool. And now it's time for Tip of the Week. Tip of the Week. Give them what they need so that you can get what you want. Okay. What right? does that mean, Chuck? Pretty deep, right? Um, I'll tell you what it means. I've been bombarded more than usual um, by uh, talent agencies, by talent buyers, by uh, uh, talent. And uh, uh, people are a little frustrated. Mm. You know, the agents are not getting what they need, and talents uh, are not getting what they want. And it all boils down to one thing, and that is the single most important tool a voice actor could possibly have, mm -hmm. and that's the almighty demo. Yes. Um, there's so much talent out there uh, that, that, it, that is not being displayed in the, in, in the right manner. And you could be really, really great, and your skills could be really, really great, but if you have a really cheap demo that somebody produced or your friend produced and doesn't have the right content and it's not produced correctly mm -hmm. and it's in the wrong format and it has no direction and all this stuff, an agent or a talent buyer is going to listen to it and be like, I can't use this. Yeah. It's worthless. Yeah. So it is so important to have a professionally produced demo that kicks butt. Well, and things move so quickly that many times you're either going to get the job from your demo yep. or you're not even going to get the audition because your demo doesn't sell you. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So I want to make 2013 mm -hmm. count for you guys. If you're ready, you have the skills, and you don't have a, prof a professionally produced demo, contact me through demosatrock.com and email me through there, and we'll get the ball rolling, and we'll see what we can do for you. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a time. It is so time. Portia Scott Hicks. Let's do it. Our guest is the driving force behind the voiceover division of the LA-based talent agency Coast to Coast Talent Group. Her clients can be heard in national campaigns, TV shows for Disney and Nickelodeon, animated films like Up and Wreck-It Ralph, and video games like Assassin's Creed and Halo. She is amazing and we are so happy to get buzzed with Portia Scott Hicks. <laughs> Portia Buzz. Scott Hicks. <laughs> hey, there. all right. Be Welcome. Yet. Fabulous. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to VO Buzz. Right. She was actually buzzed before she got here, but now she's getting more buzzed. <laughs> Don't tell <laughs> anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so glad that you're here. I'm I so mean, happy to be here. I know. I can't believe you guys got to know this. Okay, so yes. Portia and I have been having communications here via email and phone and all stuff for years, and we've never really, really had the pleasure to sit down and just chat as buddies, which we are today, and I am so excited about that. Thank you That's for cool. taking time out of your busy schedule and Absolutely. coming here to share it with Stacy and I mm -hmm. and with all our cool buddies out yeah. there. Yeah. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank like, you. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to figure uh, it out there. Yeah, you do. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get right in here and I'm going to read this because it's a uh -oh. little... Uh, uh, you have a BA and an MA in theater. Yes, right? that's correct. And how did you go, how did you get from performing to being a voiceover agent? Well, the good question. I, um, so I lived in New York, at the Law Theater of New in New York, which is amazing and great and awesome. Mm -hmm. And so I came back to Los Angeles and I was like, okay, I've got all these wonderful, I with Joe Papp at the public, mm -hmm. wonderful places, you yeah. know, Shakespeare yeah, yeah, in the yeah. Park. And I'm like, oh, I'm coming back to LA, <laughs> fabulous. I went into meet agents and they were like, yeah, so. 
Oh. Yeah, so, no, New York just did not, didn't, mm -hmm. they could care less. They, you know, they were basically, well, you know, you can at least have an under five or something like that. And I'm like, wow. wow. Okay, so I went about, you know, sort of going after it. And I, uh, a college friend of mine, we put together a one-woman show. And I thought, okay, well, forget it. This auditioning and, and going around and, you know, oh, I'm the DMV clerk today on the soap. <laughs> I'm like, really? I've done a Shakespeare. Yeah. Really? So yeah. I had, you know, I just had a little bit more attitude about mm -hmm. it and, and the hustle I really wasn't crazy about, but I thought I'd try it and I did a one woman show and we did, we did that and we put it up and that basically changed the entire course of my life. I was like, okay, and then I was working at Universal mm -hmm. in development at the time and a producer. Yeah. And asked me, I said, well, you know, would you like to come and work for me? And I thought, oh, okay, I'll try it. And so I just sort of did that. I worked in development, worked with an independent producer. And then a casting opportunity came up. And I was like, oh, really? Okay, let's give this a try. And it was early reality, in a sense. It mm. was uh, Franklin Waterman show, Could It Be a Miracle, it was called. And so there was like, you know, all of these dreams <laughs> were written about. And then they would reenact the dreams, oh, you know. Yeah. And so so that put me on a casting journey, and then from there an agent opportunity uh, showed up, literally. The position was uh, to work as commercial agent and run the voiceover. Now, I hadn't actually had not On run, camera commercial. On camera commercial mm -hmm. and voiceover, okay. yeah. And I hadn't really run uh, a voiceover session, but I'm like, I'm an actor, right? Duh, how hard can it be? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, peanut butter and chocolate! Oh, it's excellent! You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I just, that working with the actors, you know, breaking it down, having mm -hmm. them do it was, was, was a perfect fit. Perfect fit. Wow. Yeah. So that's, that's how neat. it happened. Well, <laughs> True or false, you are in the booth at Coast to Coast running, yes, running, yes. okay, so how is your background as a performer informing those actors and what do you um, notice? Well, you know, I think that I, based on how uh, my experience and my response back from the actors, I'm really a director's, I mean an actor's director. Mm -hmm. right. Because I really do come at it from a point of view as an actor. Because that's that's my orientation, I mean, yeah. you know, that's my, my yeah. background and, and so forth. So I enjoy that part because I can sort of, particularly in the animation arena, you know, commercial is very different, right. yeah. it's a whole other hat. Right. But in the animation arena, the opportunity to really, you know, do character discovery and do it acutely, because we have to, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And to be able to just at least have some shingles to, to hang some notes on to, to be able to at least deliver the read. Because in the in the first round of auditions, cr animation, we're really winning the callback. Right. Right? Right. 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 So we're really winning the callback. What do you think are some common, the, kind of the most common missteps actors make in auditions? Um, overall, if... Not paying attention to Borgia. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, really, is is in the, the you know what the threat is? Mm. Not taking enough risk. Mm. Mm. Really, that's the thing. It's like when I say, go ahead. You can improv. You can add, but you can't change. Mm -hmm. You can give us a little. We have a little wiggle room. You have to give it, particularly in animation and even in the commercial reads, which are much more character driven now right. than they used to be. That. You have to give it. You have to put some of your DNA in there. Yeah. You have to put some of you in there because at the end of the day, that's what's going to book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's everyone can read. Yeah. Everyone is fairly smart. So to come in and deliver it the same, you know what yeah. I mean? Because ultimately, it's like, oh my God, it's my direction. If they're all coming in at the same, right. I have to find a way in to be able. And we don't always have that time too. Mm -hmm. But I would say the biggest mistake is not willing to take enough risk and that's intelligent risk yeah exactly right right yeah. not just being different for the sake of it that's right making it fit yeah and making making conscious decisions that that are absolutely that fit for the copy yeah mm -hmm. totally yeah yeah that's, that, that's really cool and that's really i feel good. like i'm listening to myself talking because i tell people that <laughs> <laughs> all the time, you know, we need to bring, it's like, it's so funny because you meet somebody, we're off to the subject here a little bit, but you meet somebody and they're, they're a voice actor and you, you, their personality is so great and they're so alive and they have this attitude and this cool thing about them, right? And then all of a sudden, <laughs> she knows where you, you're give going. Them, you give them a piece of copy and you put them in the booth and that person just stays uh... behind and this new person comes in the booth and you're like, 
What the hell happened to you? Well, and that's what I, you know, that's so great because it's like, I'm like, okay, so the ghosts came down I, and the aliens removed the personality yeah. and they made them read it. So can we not do that? And, and I think that, that they just freeze. I think that that rote memory happens. Yeah. Do you know? And then, and, and it's, you really, I think training yeah. and, and almost retraining, you know what I mean? Where you really are training from a point of view as the actors that they're working on their personality and they're trying to flush out those little quirks and those little things that are interesting yeah. mm -hmm. out because the given circumstances will be the given circumstances, mm -hmm. right? right. Da -da -da -da. And the, I think the listener, the casting directors and producers and such, they're waiting for that. They're waiting for that moment of yeah. different and inspiration, but yet on page. Exactly. You well, know? you know, because I'm on the talent side. Yeah. You know, when you get the specs and you get that breakdown and you think, okay, this is the voice match or this sounds like this, and you have all these things in the age range, and but but it's finding that like you said, of driving through, honoring what they're asking for, but driving yourself through that so that when you get into the booth, it's not, you're not frozen in this. And you have and you have something real, you know what I mean, intangible yeah. to connect yeah. to. You can go through the, the, the character breakdown or the specs, find one or two that really personally resonate with mm -hmm. you, and that's what you use to to move forward and deliver the copy mm -hmm. yeah, and and get great. a point of view out. You know that's yeah. mm -hmm. and it's it's you know we can talk about it until we're blue in the face, and yeah. I you know I've been through it, been through it, and I can even have this conversation just before we read. And then we go to do it. And I'm like, oh, what happened? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Do you think it's like that? Happened. It's like that happens. actor, like, I want to be perfect. I want to be right. I want to be what they want. But in all that's going on in your mind, and so you're not present anymore to, yeah. Where, yeah. to what's happening that's on the page. Right. That's yeah. right. That's right. And, you, and the bottom line is you can't be what they want. You either are or you aren't. Yep. You know, so you mm -hmm. have to just be who you are. That's yeah. that's that's yeah. the lesson, right? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And that's the trick. Woo! Okay, so you produced, co-wrote, and starred in yes, your own one-woman show. Yes, I did. Tell us about that. Oh, this is some time ago, back in my acting days. The show was called The Secret Diary of Sandra Woodward. Mm. And it was sort of ahead of its time that it was sort of a, a romp back into the 70s mm -hmm. and, and sort of cherishing idols from my childhood, like mm. Julia, Get Christy Love, you know, which sort of every few years makes it surge, a 70s surgeance mm -hmm. again. And a friend of mine, Matt Plindle, who I went to college with and my best friend in life. Is he still your friend? Totally. Say hi yeah, to him. Hey, what's hey, up, Matt? <laughs> Who's the champion of the world? <laughs> um, and so we, I don't know, we were hanging out, you know, yeah. and, and I said to him, I said, you know, I could feel my hair grow. And he just looked at me like, Girl. Oh. So I was like, oh my God. Yeah. And so somehow we, we kept coming up. Well, what if we had this person who, and we pick up on these little, you know, odd little moments. And so we, we ended up with a play, yeah. a one woman play, about this woman who was an actress, ne'er do well. And, you know, she would have like all these fantasies. She would take little moments as if they were in huge moments. Like she could be like an extra mm -hmm. on some film <laughs> that starred Meryl Streep and Whoopi Goldberg and if you chat oh you know Meryl and I we were hanging out <laughs> yeah. on the yeah. set yeah. And, and it was just her journey in sort of this life and and you know she had a sister who was an anorexic her name was Tiffany she was down to one Cheerio a day um, <laughs> one Cheerio a day yes you know and then wow. this overbearing mom character and then she had an agent Manny Rodriguez he's a midget Mm. Um, so we had, you know, we had all of these sort of quirky characters that yeah. we put around her to try to give her some sort of normalcy and just her mm -hmm. journey yeah. in being an actress and, and, and trying to maintain, you know, her life. Our set was like monochromatic. It was all purple. Nice. I mean, literally monochromatic. We spray yeah. painted all the props and we had like this green shag carpet. And But everything, all my costumes, everything. I did this whole lip sync number to love, you know. Yeah. With, with the assigned headshots, and we had this Great. moment when she finally got her SAG card, you know, and so we we had we raised money for it. I mean, I at the time I was working at Universal, mm -hmm. and so I said, well, we're nonprofit theater. So I wrote to like, you know, at the time Jurassic Park was on, and so, so I wrote to Steven Spielberg, and I said, oh, we need a crew jacket to be able to sell. So I mean, and I got. 
I mean, ama- so it really taught me a lot about, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, I'm like, oh, actors, please, go do it. It, it can be done. Yeah. And so I wrote, and I got all this, you know, swag from Universal, and I said, why stop there? Let's go to Sony. And so I got all this stuff from the studios, had massive silent auction, so we raised, you That's know, awesome. a, a fair amount of money to be able to hire a director mm-hmm. and hire... $16 million. $16 million. <laughs> the <laughs> highest budget <laughs> one I have an, an offshore account. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that, so we were able to do Very it. Very creative, it was, it was, though. Very good. Yeah, it was. It was really an amazing yeah. experience, mm-hmm. and it was at the time uh, we were on, you know, Santa Monica Boulevard, where all the, the theaters are there. Mm-hmm. Um, there were a couple of other shows, one-woman shows running. So I got a lot of press and some heat based on that, and... And then I had some interest in a potential sitcom. I went to Jamaica, broke my ankle in Jamaica. Oh, no. Who does that? Yeah, who does that? Uh, who does that? How do you break your ankle what in, were you in, doing? In, in, on the beach? Can you share? Um, I could. Share? <laughs> we want to know. No, actually, it's not that sexy. I thought it was. I mean, I've made up all kinds of things. You can embellish. None of us were there. <laughs> no, literally, I was in the pool at the villa. Oh, no. In the pool? In the pool at the villa, and the phone rang. And I was like, <gasps> it's Hollywood. <laughs> 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 True story. Ah. I go running to the phone, oh. landslide, and I look down, and my my ankle is one way, and my body's the oh. other way. What is not? You're right. right. Not oh. sexy. Not and very sexy. Painful. Not pretty. You're very exactly, Sarah. But I was like, I'm staying. I'm gonna tough it out. And so I hobbled along for a week. Came back, and and really, you know, things in life like that, they're they're they they're demarcations in time mm-hmm. because it really changed the course of my life because it made me stop and go okay what's it going to be you've done this show there's interest are you going to continue as you know as as an actor what are you going to do what's mm-hmm. it going to be mm-hmm. and right. so i was down for a while and i got a lot of time to really think about it and reevaluate it and i decided i gotta go into development development so i was at the studio and so that's what yeah. i did i called human resources they kind of set me up and i went into uh, sitcom development Thereafter, so how cool is that? that? Yeah, <laughs> did you develop something that we moments. know that we've heard of? Maybe no. Actually, I was on the early team of Party of Five. Okay. Mm-hmm. When I was at, at Universal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was there for about a year, and then I was like, okay, I hate this because <laughs> yeah. it was fun to develop stuff that you were interested in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I really wasn't the one developing. I was the one typing up the notes. Right. <laughs> the you know what I mean? So I wasn't really the one that was in the creative source. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I and I'm I, I no matter what, even though you know my background as an actor and I'm not necessarily acting now, mm-hmm. it always has to be from a place of creativity. Absolutely. For me, you yeah. Know? yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So. And now you're basically acting again, but through others absolutely which absolutely. is really 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 cool yeah and unusual you're in a you're in a very cool unusual position with what you do and your background stuff like that mm-hmm. that i really really believe has a uh, no. the edge you have a little oh, edge, edge above everybody edge. else because of that well but also you can understand and i was going to ask you i mean you can also understand from the actor side there where their head is and what they go through i mean what for you is the most challenging part about being an agent um, really, the challenge, the challenging part is, you know, not necessarily the negotiation of the, the deals, but the minutia of the negotiation of the deals. Mm-hmm. That you know, all the most of the the bigger talent now have 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 attorneys. So right. there there has been that that sort of has assuaged over in that respect. But that kind of minutia, and really, as much as I love meeting new people and new talent, the constant replenishment of the talent pool that you have to you have to always 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 do. Yeah. And you know, you get to a cruising altitude. You get to a place mm-hmm. where you're like. Oh, everybody's fabulous people booking I love it but that only that's that's a small window do you know mm-hmm. and as agents we have to constantly so it's that part I'm not as is it's not as fun for me that part do you yeah. know I, I prefer to be with the actors in the booth do you know so that's what's that's what's really the telling them what to do yeah telling them what to do that's what you really <laughs> 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 Bossy pants. Boss. Yeah, bossy pants is good. <laughs> Should I, let, move over. Let me show you how to do it. <laughs> you know, and I, I actually have been a um, uh, couple of times I've had to slate for some of the actors or this or that, and and I've had interests. People wanting to Just like, from your yeah, absolutely who, wanting. Who slated? Yeah, right. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Right. That's lady. We want her. That's I great. love it. Yeah, I mean, when I in fact, oddly enough, when I was when I was managing for a little bit. 
voiceover manager, whatever. It was stupid. I tried it, whatever. <laughs> but nonetheless, when I was doing that at, at the agency where I was leasing the space from, the, the commercial casting, the commercial agent kept saying, you've got to let me send you out. You've got to let me send you out. I said, I, I can't. I'm a manager. Da, 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 da. And so just for heck, you know, I mean, it's years ago, so I can't get into trouble anymore about it. So, I mean, I was like called to the boardroom of After All. Um, so, yeah, I went on an audition and I booked... I booked the bloody camera. It was on camera, so it wasn't right. it wasn't totally yeah. weird. Totally yeah. But while waiting in the Small lobby, here come your clients, yeah. and I'm like, "Oh, this is not good." And this is thinking, weird. What a great, what a great manager. She's meeting me at my. Wow, this is so cool. She's so full service. You're the, like, no, yeah, not so much. I'm gonna steal your job. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, who? I mean, how do you expect that? You know? Yeah. And they was yeah. like, "Oh, you wear this. You wear." I said, "I'm like, girl, I'm going in what I wore today." Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 when you've got it, you've got it, Portia. Uh, yes, we're that gonna, was fun. So, we have something really, really special for uh -huh. you guys. Dun, dun. Um, you guys know that here at VO Buzz Weekly, we like giving you guys stuff because you deserve it. Mm -hmm. Some of you do anyways. <laughs> and uh, and we just like giving back. You know, that's how, yeah. that's we want to do that. We want to give back and help everybody out as much as we can. Um, and so... It's our first contest of 2013. First contest doozy. of 2013. And, and, and you keep your ears open. Portia's going to tell you about something really, really cool that we're going to do. All right. So an effort to find, you know, continue to find more talent, an opportunity for, so, we get so many submissions, so much out there. I thought it would be a good opportunity to join with the fabulous VO Buzz folks, who we love very much, and to do this wonderful contest where you, the actor, put together, I, I'll send you some copy, we'll get copy, you'll get two choices of commercial copy, two choices of animation copy, you'll lay down one of each, send it back to the fabulous people here, and we'll make a choice, and then we'll offer you six months of representation. How about that? Does that sound cool? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think Hold they on. Regroup for a second. You heard her correctly. You. So, so here's With the deal. Coast to Coast so here's Talent the deal. Group. That's awesome. Coast to Coast Talent Group. Portia is going to offer a lucky winner. Voiceover. Yes. In voiceover, representation. Well, most of these people are in voiceover, Portia. Yes. Oh, this is a voiceover Well, show. but Coast to Coast is fierce on camera, so... <laughs> yeah, you're going to be on Glee! He was going to be what? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> hey, oh, I'm going to be on Glee! <laughs> exactly. Uh, psych! For all the details, okay, because there's yes. some details, and you got to follow d directions. If yes. you don't follow directions, you're going to be disqualified. Yeah. So, follow so directions. Read carefully. Go to our website, vobuzzweekly.com forward slash contest. contest. Or just hit the contest page. All the details will be there. Okay, pay attention. Mm -hmm. Do what Portia tells you to do. Submit yeah. those things. This contest is going to go on for the entire month of February. So don't wait till the last minute. Do it yeah. now. It's a big deal. So take some time with this and, and honor those dates and make sure you really follow those directions. Absolutely. You guys. This is your chance to make 2013 really, really count and start it with a bang. Do it. Thank, Thank you, you so Portia. much for doing sure. that. Of so Thank you, Coast to unbelievably Coast. Awesome. cool. Absolutely. So generous. I'm happy Peach. to do it. Happy to do it. Fun. And then when you find someone amazing, you'll come back and say, oh, they're the voice of la 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 la. Absolutely. Wow. That would be great. Let's manifest that. Yeah, yeah let's manifest that. Um, no pressure. Yeah, no, no pressure. No pressure. Um, so that is so cool. Why don't you tell us a little bit, because I know that you teach, and you mm -hmm. have these mm -hmm. these workshops that you do mm -hmm. that are un unbelievable. I mean, some of the, the guests that you have coming to mm -hmm. those things are just like, what? I get to be there with them? Can you you have something sure. coming up? Can you please share yes, with us? Yes, absolutely. So the, we call it Animation Blast, Animation and Blast. it's an opportunity I have found that uh, I bring in a guest directors with that. Because what I found, I, I also teach myself independently, and I love to teach. It's like yeah. one of the most fun things I love doing. A, I like to do it because it keeps me sharp. It keeps me in touch. I don't get stodgy, especially when you direct a lot in the booth. Mm -hmm. You can get sort of, you know, bogged down, stodgy. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I got to get upstairs, get those appointments, da da da. And this keeps me fresh and in mm -hmm. touch. New talent, and as well as seasoned talent. That is very exciting to yeah. be able to have in the class, too, right. you know. And so last year I thought, oh, what if I start to bring in, because the actors I find have so many questions. What happens when mm -hmm. we, you know, you send our auditions on, it mm -hmm. goes on to casting, and then we never hear. What's you know? Do, do they even get listened to? So yeah. I started to bring in 
people, uh, casting directors um, and uh, ad agency people to be able to really just talk to the actors. Do you know what I mean? So that yeah. they can say, okay, this is the this is what happens. Your audition comes from your agent. Just so you know, and boom, and they can list what happens. Yeah. And they also, the actors also get an opportunity to get directed by, cat, like our upcoming class, which is on February 18th. Mm -hmm. It's Monday, which is President's Day. Write so we're that down. February eighteenth, yes. from two to five. So it's an it's nice. it's it's during the day, three mm -hmm. hours, and we have this this month uh, or February. We have Sarah Goldberg, who is one of the heads mm -hmm. at TV Disney. Animation mm -hmm. Disney wow. yeah. casting. So these are not just sort of. These, I mean, she's sort of you know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the top of the line, Absolutely. you know. Yeah. And the actors get an opportunity to come in. She brings copy, so I'm not even providing the copy. So it's a copy coming from Disney, mm -hmm. Disney Television you know real stuff that's getting produced stuff that may even be in the queue do you right, know right. and uh, she directs them they get the copy they rehearse it they come they get up on the mic they rehearse it um, and I always encourage the actors make a question list because you know your brain goes crazy and gets mm -hmm. erased when mm -hmm. you're in a situation Absolutely. like that yeah and then you're calling me oh I want to know I want to know and I'm like okay this is your time yeah you know to wow. do it and it's a small class it's a maximum of 10 students so That's you better right jump on this mm -hmm. right now yeah so you get you know yeah. you get to be up on the mic at least three times we email you uh, an mp3 of all your work Fantastic. so you get yeah. her direction you get what you've recorded you get the whole nine yards awesome. yeah. you might be able to even sell that on yeah. ebay you know for some extra or cash. not or not so or not. how no because the copy is proprietary <laughs> just saying yes <laughs> oh. Just ignore what Chuck said. Oh, yeah, ignore um, what I said. But how do they? How do they, how they, they find so, out? register? Fantastic. So we hosted at the Mark Grau Studios, and if you look right here at the bottom of your screen, you yeah. will see the email address where you can email and get information and register and so forth. Right, and so does Mark engineer? Uh, actually, no. One of his associates does. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you yeah. kidding? Mark's awesome. gonna be at the beach. Yes. Yeah. Out with yeah. But how fun would that be? You get Porsche. You get Mark. We love Mark. Yeah. This and then there's awesome. sometimes yeah, Mark. Actually, Mark will sometimes stick around and do a little a little chit chat. You know, mm -hmm. usually on yeah. the first one or so. Exactly. Nice. But, uh, but the cool thing about being at Mark Grau Studios, hi Mark, <laughs> is that. All the all the big actors in town, Absolutely. man, they all go there to yeah. do yeah. jobs. I mean, so you'll it's be a great place. State of the art, state of the art. So you'll be in a major studio where real work happens. Where real yeah. work happens. Yeah. <laughs> Recording in, That's in, in great. a booth. And so, will you have more of these coming up? Yes, we do one a month. Okay, so great. This, so February so is Disney. You know, we'll look to probably do someone from Nickelodeon okay. in March, and then you know, so on and so forth. And then we'll and then we'll move over a little bit to and bring in the commercial, the ad agency. People people nice. right. which is you that's know huge. that's you huge you never get to talk to those people no. yeah, 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 yeah. you never get yeah. to talk to those well, people well good so. okay so if you miss the 10 spots on this one you'll there'll be more opportunities yeah. absolutely yes. brilliant so, email Yay. Portia at that email right there <laughs> she'll send you all the deets that's awesome. <laughs> awesome that's awesome okay Portia when you listen to a demo mm. what do you need to hear well, before I get to what I hear, being that most of the demos that we receive are via email. Mm -hmm. So if I had in my subject matter that qualified the talent as union or non-union, so current and, and current is helpful mm, yes. as well. Yes. Current SAG AFTRA member. Mm -hmm. Great. You're going in the pile that I'm listening to right now. Ah, if okay. I don't have if I don't have that qualification I'm not listening right away because unfortunately the time that we're in I can we're you know we're we're a union agency so yeah. I have to put the SAG after talent at the top of the Absolutely. at the top of the list Makes and sense. listening. Now that being said so once we qualify that um you know, I'm really listening for something that that's that that's exciting and that's gonna make me laugh. That's gonna make me not think about the the lists of twenty thousand other things that I have to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Because to say specifically what you're listening for, I don't know what I'm specifically listening. I mean, obviously, someone who's intelligent and who can speak, and you know, all of those right. things. But having a nice database of current talent i'm looking maybe to add some in some areas you know in the 18 to 25 because that's really big buying power right now mm -hmm. and that's where a lot of the work is going so particularly in animation because disney xd mm -hmm. it's all teens now yeah. mm -hmm. and nickelodeon's trying to get there so i'm really looking for 18 to 25 you know although we have a very strong young talent division that 25 you know is 
is really important. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm sort of looking for that in terms of age, but in terms of what I'm looking for, I just, you know, someone, this is really, you know, someone's going to be fabulous. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. You know I'm, it when you hear it. Are you in that four to seven second, ten second range of listening, or do you really... Yeah, probably ten second. Mm -hmm. I'll give it, you know what I mean? I'll yeah. give it, if the first one, and people, please. Let the first one be fabulous. I know it's important for the whole thing to be great, <laughs> but really, if the first one isn't great, you don't stand a chance. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, saying. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. So you want something up there that just grabs you, that shows right, your ability yeah. to act, Absolutely. that shows that you have personality, that yeah. shows that you can make things come alive, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And, and, and because I come from an acting background, you know what I mean? There are, there are extra points for me when, when I get people who are trained, mm -hmm. yeah. do you know what I mean, at at college or you know at some of the acting mm -hmm. schools and mm -hmm. stuff like that 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 sort of you know rates high on my on my calendar as yeah. well right. so just right. because that's my background so yep. you know yeah. I kind of like to go there but yeah someone that just you know and if you're doing an animation demo I am from the school I kind of like for you to sort of streamline your characters into a little into a little bit of story that's if you're creating it if you're right. lifting pieces you're actually on an animated show yeah, yeah. and you have episodes that you've actually lifted that's great obviously we want to know that right. we want to hear that but if you're generating the demo and you're making something new and maybe it's a hybrid of what you've done and some characters that you've created mm -hmm. i don't like to hear characters in a list and now I will step into character and do this voice. And now I'm doing this voice. Make it make it seamless. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I kind yeah. I like listening to them when they're when mm -hmm. they're seamless. Do you know? Right. So that's the, and animation wise, that's what I'm looking for. You know, commercial. Just know your brand. Yeah. Know what your brand is. Yeah. Not, you know, I'm doing this because every, you know, oh, I'm doing voiceover because everyone says I should. Yeah, well, what the exactly. heck does that mean? Yeah, what does yeah. that mean? Okay, I mean, well, you I know, know. I should have been born a billionaire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, not, not too long ago, you know, if you had a great voice, that was like yeah, a really cool it. thing. Yeah. Nowadays, it's like, okay, but can you act? Right. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. And, you know, and, and unfortunately we do get those, you know, the people who have decided to open up the book and read the passage. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, the, we need actors. Yeah. yeah. This, it is voice acting. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, the end. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, that concludes part one with the awesome Portia Scott Hicks. Be sure to log on to VOBuzzWeekly.com forward slash contest to register and find out how you could win voiceover representation by a top LA agency. Absolutely, and make sure to keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest at VO Buzz Weekly. Take care, everybody, and just remember, you, you always have time, time for a little buzz. buzz.